good time to play this uh, this game because uh, I am Andy and I am going to go and uh, solve all sorts of adventures, riddles, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. As soon as I figure out that this volume on this game that came out in the 90s, as a statue, there's a, a lot stone of carving of Shiva. A lot of walking and looking. An urn. It's some kind of funeral urn. Darn right some it kind is. Of funeral urn. Stay. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. All right, so uh, yeah, I am Indiana Jones, and I am uh, in the middle of the Indiana Jones's office college. What's in the some urn? Some kind of funeral urn. It's some kind of some kind of funeral urn. All right, how about this crazy statue here? Oh yeah, totally falling through the floor. Oof. They don't make games like this anymore. This is old as heck. But instead of going to the movies, I'm going to play this f instead. Why? Because there's way too many seats available in the uh, movie theater for this game. Like, way too many seats. It's probably the most um, kid-friendly game I've played. All right, Andy, get your butt off the ground. What do we got here? We have a gaping hole and rope. A lot of clicking here. And we fall down again. For those who are old school, you will remember this game. All right, Andy, get up. It's actually a really good way to introduce the uh, the game. All right, Andy, get your butt off the ground, buddy. I should do. I should probably change the cover for this video I'm streaming. Let's do that so people know I'm not streaming some sort of a crazy match or anything else here. Let's give that a go. Let's uh. Let's change our thumbnail up real quick here and pause our sound and music. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's get back to it. And hopefully I'm sounding okay as well. All right, back to the adventure. All right, well, we're wandering around the uh, old lecture hall desk. Andy's campus here. Urns, These windows. Don't look familiar. Uh oh. Great, Andy's oh. getting crushed yet again. Actual music composed by John Williams for this video game. Pretty impressive. Pretty darn slow FPS, but hey, what are you going to do with a 90s game, right? You better get that roof checked. Indeed. All right, so we've got, we're in the world of cats here and dogs, I suppose. There's a coal shoot over there. Can we go there? Looks pretty slippery. That's right. Where are we going to go from here? Books. Cat figurines. One of Tutankhamun's pets. Oh, yeah. 90s humor, boys and girls. Unfortunately, there's no Harrison Ford. Doug Lee's doing the voice here, but... Uh, Originally, when I played this, there was no voice at all. All right, get up, Indy. Let's get going here. Okay, there's a furnace. It is hot. What else we got? We have boxes. We have a dirty rag. Let's take a look it's at this dirty rag. Towel. Uh, you know what? Let's. Can we take it's this? It's a greasy old towel. All right, Indy does not want the towel. It's too slippery to walk up. Well, let's... Uh, can we get out this door? I'm not leaving without that statue. I'm supposed to find a statue of some kind, okay? Well, let's check the lockers. Go left, go right, go middle. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. And there's our statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. All 
All right, first quest component accomplished. All right, Mr. Jones. Let's continue this adventure across. This game was so tough and I was getting stuck on so many puzzles. I was overthinking things way too much. I actually went and got books by Aristotle to try to figure out some of the clues here. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Jones. Exploring I'm fine. our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Bro, Zero. Do you know this game? Bro. Smith. Mr. Smith, yeah, yeah, the toilet. Did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. Oh, this thing's awesome. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. I'm, I'm just blown away that it's voiced. Why not? It's an obvious fail. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. You don't sound like you're German at all. A small metal bead, jewelry, perhaps. I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take. So the. Oh, Smith. Mr. Smith is getting away. Stand back, gentlemen. He's got a gun. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. Well, what is Fritz? Yeah, yeah, natürlich. What is Fritz? Away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, there we go. Nazis. Dinner, huh? Nazi zero. Lord, indeed, a man, some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What does the spy want with the Buddhist statue? I'm sure it's got some deep occult to it. I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in our There's the Indiana Jones that we remember. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. It's got a beautiful story. Like, I only got about halfway through this game back You're in the right. day. But it's I actually got a really good story. Statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. I think Mr. Jones got snubbed there. All right, are we going to get the standard Indiana Jones transition? We do. Yep, this is the uh, the 90s style games, guys. And I'm impressed that they auto added audio to it. Walk to taxi. I'm going to can I use the taxi? Grand Central Station, please. Okay. So I can leave. I did not know I could leave. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll work through this. I shouldn't be coming back here. <laughs> I should actually probably save the game. <laughs> can I use the office door? I don't think that'll work. Can I get anything else from here? Ah, huh. I did not know that you could actually go back to nothing up here but a few broken pots go back to the lab what else can we look at there's a trunk Did you say trunk shelf shell shelves ice box can we uh, open the ice box and get a beer Phew. yes I should have cleaned it out okay funny uh, anything else in this room that we should take? No, no, telephone, no. Shelves, look at, boring, boring, trunk. It's 
my old steamer trunk. All right. Open the trunk. Open trunk. Open trunk. Use trunk. Nope, can't use the trunk. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get back to the mission. Because this is actually not what I'm supposed to be doing. Back to the taxi. We're supposed to be safing uh, Sophia Hopgood. All right, back to New York. I did something I did not know I could do. All right, so look at Marquis. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. So how do we get in? We need to get in there to see her. Let's use the ticket talker. Ticket taker. I need to talk to the ticket taker. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Damn it. But but no seats, no standing room, no exception. Uh excuse me. Come back next week. Uh oh. Excuse me. Come back next week. Alright. Well, we got a newspaper here. It's today's paper. Well, I got a newspaper that I can look at. It's today's paper. It's to it's today's paper. This was I taken a long while ago when I thought we might like each other. Oh, he got snubbed by a hot girl. All right. Can I use the phone to call help for help? <laughs> I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. There's an excuse for everything. All right. Well, this game has uh, multiple ways of getting things done. Back door. What do we got here? We got boxes. It's a crate. Ah, and there's a window up here. But let's take the. Uh... That doesn't seem to work. Push the door. I can't move it. Pull the door. I can't move it. Hmm, it's unlocked. Perfect. Uh oh. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. Uh oh. All right, let's save this thing because this is where plasma does dumb things. Multiple ways of interacting. I'm here to enjoy Madame's. Outrageous orations. I'm with the band. Okay, let's see if he, he'll buy it. I'm with the band. I'm with the band. Madam Sophia doesn't have a band. Damn it. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? Uh, I really want to talk to your star. I really need to talk to your star. That's what they all say, Mac. All right. <laughs> It's a misunderstanding. It's a matter of life and Nazis. I've got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Or just let me in, you ape. Hmm. What option should I choose? Um. I let's think try there's that. A misunderstanding here. Are you calling me stupid? Uh oh. Hmm. Well, let's proceed. What do you what think? Do you think? Hired a fancy damn college boys who use big words, and I think you'd better apologize. Uh, I couldn't understand what a fat tub of lard meant when it came to Canada. Lard is basically like animal fat that you cook in, so I don't have anything to apologize for. To apologize. I'm gonna pretend to be plasma here. I'm gonna be politically correct. That's where you're wrong, Mister. Now get lost. Gee, looks pretty sore. All right, let's try it again. Here I go again. <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Uh, wait. I'm sorry, I offended wait, I'm you. I'm sorry, I offended you. I thought there was a way oh, to fight him. In that case, what do you want? Oh, hey, let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Let's start with that. Or I'm here to fix the lights. 
I don't know what the hell I'm using to play it with. I don't know what, what engine it's running. Hmm. Hi, Squid. Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? What do, what you, do think? you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voids, and I think you'd better apologize. Hi. Drop dead pumpkin head. Here we go, boys. Drop dead pumpkin head. That's it, white guy. Put up your dope. I forgot how to fight here. Yeah, go indie. Yeah! Punching simulator. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes! Click, click, click! I win. Alright, so. The bigger uh, they are, well, you know. That's right, the harder they fall. Now, here's the cool thing is I actually didn't need to do any of that. I can't get there from here. I could have pushed some boxes. Mr. Crate. And then I could have gone here, and I could have pushed another crate. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I think there's a way to actually the way get... Looks blocked. No, it's not. Push the crate. And I could have actually done that. Uh, Steam. Hey. This is on Steam. You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I would like reading with Miss Hapgood. I need to talk to this what's so called. Yes, it is. It is. It is Scum Engine. That's right. Uh, I need to talk to that so called psychic. It does use this command, and that's right. Madam Sophia, to us employees, fella. Uh, I need to talk Excuse to her. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, Not my all. friends, is Atlantis, as it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later... SR-71, yeah, that's right. Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Right. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. So can I. But I want to talk to him so I can Excuse talk to her. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. Damn it. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. I don't think Whether there's a way to skip level, any of these. Slowly creeping higher, or the Earth itself suddenly shifting. Earth was flat, so we know However that. However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps Space it was aliens. a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all-seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. And there is a bit of uh, a bit of a little bit of sexist stuff, you know. Excuse me. That the woman never stops talking. Yeah. What now? Uh. Madame told me to tell you you're fired. Madam told me to tell you you're fired. What? You can't fire me. Damn it. Uh Take a look at my driver's license. Take a look at my driver's license. <laughs> Stop pestering me and watch the show, will ya? Okay. Let's talk to him again. Excuse me. 
Yeah, what now? Uh, isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Uh, do you have any hobbies? Don't you have any hobbies? Sure, I read. What if I gave you something to walk away? What if away? I give you something to walk away? A bribe? Who do you think you're talking to? Damn it. Talk to this guy. Excuse I need him to me. Yeah, what now? I need him to go away. Do you ever Don't read? Don't you ever read? Sure, it's a hobby of mine. <laughs> exactly, Zero. What if I give you something to read? You got it, buddy. I might take a look. Okay, so give newspaper to stagehand. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Excellent. Now Andy gets to be a total jackass. By pushing a bunch of levers. Let's push the middle lever. Then let's push the right lever. Let's push the left lever. Push the left lever. Then I'm going to push the little button there. Hmm, nothing happened. All right, let's pull this lever. Uh oh. Aha! <laughs> you gotta be able to notice these tiny little buttons and the weird things in this game. They made this for smart people. Push button! There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh. May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. Deceit. Deceit. Thanks, Indy. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. This is actually a really fun game. It's got a lot of jokes like this in there. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. And we're only one one hundredth into the game. Oh no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Damn Nazis! Stay put. Why am I out here? No one here. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Nor here either. Damn it! Where are those Nazis? Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. We found the treasure we seek. No, I, I don't think you could drop a sandbag on her. <laughs> Damn Nazis getting away by slowly That's walking the away. Time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? I Have don't you seen know. The newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? <clears throat> Practical results are years away. Come on, a few atoms won't even light a match. They'll never find enough uranium or sounds like they're dreaming to me. I shall play the Sounds dumbass like role. To me. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been stealing my artifacts? You stole things from my expedition? Uh... Concealing important active artifacts. Yeah, there you go. Concealing important artifacts. 
Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Whoa. And now we've all got radiation poisoning. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? <laughs> that was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Absolutely, you just put some. Actually, she is Nura, like the. Uh, what? Nura, what? Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. We have no idea to where to find your city. Atlantis is underwater for many centuries. Who knows where are these beads really come from? You may have just used up the last bead. There we go. Uh, well, she's like the original Lara Croft. She's like pretty badass. You may have just used the last bead. Shh. Shh. I'm getting something. Nurab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? Oh, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. It's not in any library I've ever been in. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? Damn Nazis. You ever think of that? Hmm. You found this stuff in Iceland? What are these pieces doing in Iceland? How did it get to Iceland? Why Iceland? Why not Florida, where it's Why warm? Why Iceland? Why not Florida, where it's warm? Maybe the Atlanteans didn't like tourists. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. All right, off we go to Iceland. Yay! Hopefully everyone's enjoying this. There's probably like, what, two people watching? <laughs> All right. Look at this beautiful art. How much time was put into this? Hold on. Here we go. Use. Whip. With. Ah. Listen. Yes? Can't use whip. Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? Let's look around. Okay. Uh... Look at Sophia. Sophia? Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Yeah. 4040. Look at mouth. It's an old lost wax casting, early Bronze Age. It looks hollow. It's a small diamond shaped hole. Looks like onyx. Looks like onyx. Look at chain. It's a bronze chain. Look at face. 404. All right. Thanks. That did not help me at all. What else can we look at? Mouse hovering, mouse hovering. Dig site, encampment. What's in the encampment? Look at. It looks like someone's still living here. It looks like someone's still living here. All right, I guess we got to go in here. Come on, Indy. Walk faster. Go, 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 Indy. It brings back a lot of memories of the Jastro expedition. God, he keeps complaining about that he couldn't score with her. Okay, I tried. Use. Okay. Use. Whip. With. See? I can't. 
I can use whip with dig old dig site or with encampment. I can't. <laughs> I, I can. It won't let me. Use whip with national archaeology. Here we go, boys. I don't think that'll work. Damn it. Uh, who's this guy? Dr. Heimdall. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. Uh... Doctor, what do you expect to find here? Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! Huh. After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they were retailed by ghosts. Ghosts? Okay. Puppycock! You know what Puppycock! Stop them, John? Uh, what's happened? Uh... I don't know, maybe Sophia know, has an maybe idea. Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. He was stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Okay. Hmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Eh? There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. Okay. What beings? Supernatural. Well, why did these beings show up here? I am convinced Must that finish talking before I can whip him. To form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a spaceport. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. Ether? Are we talking about? Uh, huh? Yeah, we gotta find those spaceports. Well, gotta find those other spaceports. Good luck, fellow believer. Right. Uh, look at Heimdall. There's nothing to look at. Look at Heimdall. There's nothing to look at. Look at Ice Obscured Object. It's an eel figurine trapped in ice. Look at Sophia. Sophia. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? This is a pretty repeatable thing here. Thanks. Uh, good, good enough. Okay, use... Use whip with... Nope. Figure you nice. I don't think that'll work. <sighs> well, guess we gotta go somewhere else. Let's just go use the truck and go to our next location that we've identified. Let's head for the airport. Alright, let's go down to... Uh... All right, let's go to Tikal. That looks like a nice place. All right, we're in the bushes. We have a, we have Sophia. Listen. Yes. How do you like the tropics? How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Oh, Sigburn. Great. Thanks for reminding me. All right. Well, let's. Uh, what do we do well, now? What do we do now? Redheaded woman, tell me. Find Sternhardt. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. What is this? 1938. That's a hell of a. Maybe took the boat. Well, let's go explore. I'm going to explore the area. Go right ahead. I'll wait here. Oh, look at that. We're denied. All right. Well. I can't reach it. Whoa. 
some sort of an animal. There's some, some sort of dark bushes here. Just in case. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna call it Jungle. Just in case I do something stupid here. Because these games do not have... Walk to Dark Jungle Path. Okay. Walk to Dark Jungle Path. Am I trapped? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. It's a snake. I hate snakes. Okay. Uh, I remember doing this. I need to do something vicious here, guys. You must forgive me. Hey, oh, no, 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 go back. Stupid Indy, get back in the bushes. I don't want the anaconda to eat me, so I gotta use whip on jungle rodent. The critter's too far away. Damn it. Okay, use whip. That critter's too far away. How do I get closer? All right. Use whip. On. I don't think that'll work. I need to whip this jungle rodent. That's my whip. Oh, I know, but you're not helping me, Indy. How do I get closer? I can't to that reach thing? it. Aha! You damn it! Damn you, Indy! Use whip, jungle rodent. Yeah. God damn it. Use whip, jungle rodent. Stupid jungle game. Oh my god, I have to somehow make this thing go over there. That critter's too far away. Oh my god. Use whip jungle rodent. Use whip jungle rodent. I have to use logic here. I have to end up here to scare him to go the other way, I guess. I hate using logic. I don't understand. Wait, I have to be in a position that he can't... Okay, can I use it now? Aha! Stupid jungle rodent. That's a capybara. I win. Death to jungle rodents. Good old Mother Nature. Squid, you win. Whip on jungle rodent. <laughs> now how do I get out to where I need to go? Damn it. They made these games needlessly hard. Uh, talk to bird. I can't talk to that bird from here. Use whip on tree. Uh oh. Oh, okay, that wow, works. Some bridge. Hi, Indy. Oh, BS. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Okay, well, what, what do we do, we do now? now? 
We better find Sternhard. Uh, look at a kerosene lamp. A monument to the genius of the Mayans. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Her yes. Cards, replicas of the temple, souvenir mugs. Use whip on guy. Got it. Thanks. We just like to look around. As you wish. Talk to caretaker. Excuse me. Can I help you with something? Mr. I hope so, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Tell us about Lost Dialogues. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogues? Bye, Squid! I'm the one who translated Thanks for watching. You that. Use I'm whip on Squid. To steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith be too to it. Oh, no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? Yes, tell us more about this Mr. Smith he character. Up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the Lost Dialogue. Thanks. We'd just like to look around. Why not? All right. Let's go take a look at this temple Stop. thingy. Begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Well, what am I supposed to do? Um, let's talk to this bird. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Okay, let's keep talking to the bird. Talk to bird. Echo. Echo. Twenty three skidoo. I'm pile of poo. Bye bye, birdie. Bye bye, birdie. Oh, well, the parrot's pretty good. Excuse me. Yes. What do we do now? We could talk to Sternhard again, or we could move on. Try talking to him again. Listen. Yes? What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you are. The locals <laughs> play Mayan Indian music. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Way too civilized, of course. But why aren't I on site? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. Oh, well, we're pretty darn reputable. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. It's actually a dog. Actually, from... it was the name of a dog. <laughs> Sophia. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh, the Persepolis. The Persepolis. Persepolis. Ah! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Okay. I'm gonna take this kerosene lamp. Well, now, let me guess. Hey. Yes. You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? Uh, I'd like some evidence of Atlantis. Evidence of Atlantis here. Come on now. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof. Now that's hard. But does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. 
Okay. What are men who are not men? I wonder. Hmm. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. You actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. All right. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Socrates. Socrates! <laughs> Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. All right. Um, Parrot seems kind of smart. Let's talk to him. Socrates? Socrates? Socrates! A famous philosopher! That's a pretty smart parrot. Tip a canoe. And pile a pool. Alright. Uh... Pick up kerosene lamp. Well now, let me guess. Hey. Yes? You simply must possess a genuine Tikal floaty pen. I'd like to explore the I'd temple. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Ugh. I don't know the title. I don't know the title. You're no student of Atlantis, then. Aha! Talk to Parrot. Does he know the title? 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 I'm a friend of Socrates! Darn, darn right! Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. <laughs> I know the title now, you silly goose. Listen. Yes? I'd like to explore the About temple. exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Aha. <laughs> the Gluteus Maximus. No, it is not the ass. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. Good old parrot. Oh, now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Uh, look at animal head. Looks like it could use a nose. It looks like an elephant. Look at spiral designs. Engraved symbols of water and life. Talk to Sophia. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? What do we do now? Let's keep looking. Look at... Spiral design. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Pick it up. That looks good. This one looks sprunk. different, more deeply etched. Pick up. Thingy. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. I remember that I needed the lantern for something. Talk to Starnhart. Professor. Yes. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. He's not really helpful, this professor. Yes. He could be more helpful, but he's not. What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? Eh? Listen. Yes? Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Oh, I'm sure it's safe. I'd much rather keep an eye on you. Hmm. Good point. Uh, let's use 
Can't use Sophia. Use whip. It's my favorite piece of equipment. Use whip with animal head. That doesn't work. Sophia, let's talk. What's up? Yes. Did you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Uh, Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Yes, you guys go over there and talk. Meanwhile, I need to get that oil canister. Do, do, do. Pick up. Kerosene lamp. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. What else can I get in here? Pick up temple, pick up jungle path, pick up... Can't pick up the bird. All right. Uh... A monument to the genius of the Mayans. Get back to that temple, Indy. All right. Uh, use. Excuse me, won't you? Uh oh. Let's see what your friend is up to. Not up to anything. Just touch, hanging out. Use. Use kerosene lamp on animal head. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Use kerosene lamp on spiral design. The kerosene won't pour out. So, you took my lamp, eh? I, I hope you know what you're doing. Open. Kerosene lamp. It's a lamp filled with kerosene. Aha, I've opened the kerosene lamp. Use. Kerosene lamp with spiral design. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Sure did. Remarkable. And let's grab the spiral design. Oh, I got it. Marvelous. And look at spiral it's a stone carving. And now we simply take the spiral design and stick it into the animal head. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. It sure does. Amazing. <laughs> this guy's really impressed with me. Say there. There's not much more to talk about. Carry on, Dr. Jones. Yes, indeed. Mm, yes. Use elephant nose. That doesn't seem to work. Pull elephant nose. Look at that. Ta-da! Bless my soul. The tomb of an Atlantean king. Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait. Oh no, he got away. Well, that's depressing. I just solved this puzzle for him and, uh, well. Who knows, maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. A sparkly, shiny bead. Why don't we get that? Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. Ta-da! I have one bead. Yes, we do. Talk to Sophia. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? What do we do now? Let's move on. Okay. Can I pick up this tomb? I don't think that'll work. Let's get out of here. This part of the mission's done. Bye-bye, Birdie. Bye-bye, Birdie. Hmm. Or a calcum. The power of Atlantis. Smart birdie. Let's head on out. That was easy. And... Let's find the airport. Let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere colder. Let's go down to the Azores and see what's up over there. Ah, oh, the Azores are so pretty.
This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? This better be important. It sure be is. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. All right, Indy. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Oh. Uh. Is there a bathroom I can use? There's a bathroom in there I can use? Yes and no. Now go away. <laughs> All right. Nice Let's... going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Use. Okay, I can't talk to Sophia. Can I get her to do it better? Listen. Yes. You talk, you to, talk the... to the man. There we go. My pleasure. Oh, cool. I can knock on the door. Mr. Costa! Pipe down, I'm coming. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. There we go. My friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. <laughs> He's really named after the family Actually, dog. He's named after the family dog. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. All right, what can you tell me about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Do you have it? Nope. Alright. What help can we get? Have you read it? Nope. Uh... Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Wow. It's not really helpful. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Um, hmm. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Yeah, not much Don't I can... Be a uh... stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Indy? Yes? I think you better take over. Can okay, I climb into I'll his house? Something. Let's see here. Window, window, no. Walk, walk. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? What can I give him? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? Hmm. I'm... Coppery bead. I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. Bead, you say? A mere bead for the unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. Damn it. Got anything else? How about a bullwhip? I'm offering this genuine American-made bullwhip. Not a chance. What good is a whip in this day and age? Oh, this is not helping me at all. Got anything oh. else? Okay, okay, okay. Uh... I'm offering this rare archaeology magazine. That magazine rejects all my articles. You keep it. <laughs> I guess I don't have much. Got something worth my while. Well, I do know no, where to go. With me. Let's get back in the car and uh, let's go back to Iceland. Because we do have that Come bead. Come on, let's go. And we need to excavate something or other out of the 
back to the cap site. It brings back a lot of me- brings back a lot of memories of the. Just go inside. Oh, look at that. That's pretty macabre. Macabre. Too bad he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Okay. It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. It looked oh, yeah. like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Let's use the bead. And exposed figuring. It fits perfectly. Whoa. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. It sure did. Now we got a cool figurine. It's a bronze coil. It is. It's probably made to boil their water. Let's get out of here and uh, let's go turn it in. Come on, Mr. Indy. That old guy wanted all sorts of artifacts, so we're going to give him some artifacts. Back to the Azores. Is there ripples from the airplane when it pulls up? Oh, there are some. Look at that art. So much attention. Little animated waves and stuff. It's just wonderful. I think the whole game was only about 3 megabytes in size when it came out. Open the door. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? I've got something to trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Right, get me now some info. Carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The lost dialogue of Plato was in the Dunlop collection. Got that? I think so. The Dunlop collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. Dunlop collection. The Dunlop collection. You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Dunlop collection. Evil Nazis. Oh, no. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Corner at last. See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal Plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. We've done it. The energy of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the Americans. Think of bombs. All right, that's some excellent uh, capitalism there.
back to the Dunlop collection, I suppose. So why are you dragging me in here? This is Caswell Hall. <laughs> we store all our junk here. You think Plato's lost dialogue is junk? I used to be. I used to. I'm not so sure. I believe it's as real as Atlantis. All right, Mr. Cynic. Start searching. I'll meet you in your office. I gotta go look for stuff again? Darn. Bulletin board. It says, Wanted, ride share to World's Fair. It says, For sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a typewriter. I wonder if that's an actual price in 1937. It says, For sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. It says, <laughs> we'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. It says, movie tonight, the 39 steps. I have no idea what any of those are, but do we go up or do we go down? I think I've been here already. I think I need to go up the stairs. Hey, go outside. We go up the stairs. All right, uh, books on dig sites. There's nothing of importance here. Okay. Books on weapons. There's nothing of importance here. Books on tools? I think I've read them all. Books on bots. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. Must find book. Must find book. Tipped over bookcase. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. That's not helping me. Dig sites, weapons. Am I missing a book here somewhere? Tools. Do I have to climb up the rope? What is this? A fine example of braided hemp. Okay. Use rope. A fine example of braided hemp. He does not want to use I the don't rope. Need them. They're just textbooks. So where's the collection? Uh push. Are they on the lower level? Push. Tip over bookcase. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Push. There's screws. Ugh. There's screws. I can't move it. Who would have noticed a screw? It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. Thanks, genius. Um, I think I need to open this thing to go down to the floor below. Great. <laughs> I need a screwdriver. Where to get a screwdriver? Is there a screwdriver downstairs? Dirty rag. Lockers. Coal. Pretty useless. Okay, no screwdrivers here. Pick up dirty rag. It's a greasy old towel. Pick up dirty rag. I now have a dirty rag. Use bullwhip with shoot. I don't think that'll work. Use rag to clean the coal chute. I don't think that'll work. God, he's lazy. All right, I need a screwdriver. This is going to take forever. Um, can I go this way? Nope. All right, back to the office. Must find screwdriver. Must find screwdriver. All 
All right. Uh, Stuff. Uh, well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. Right. Uh, what can I snag here? There's a shelf. Look at shelf. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Okay. It's like playing those games where you have to click on stuff. Walk on shelf, walk to Sophia. Sophia? Sophia? Is there anything in this trunk that I can use now? Look at... Trunk. Nothing useful in here. Look at... Shelves. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. I have no idea what a cartouche is, but good. Um, it's neat that it makes you come back to the original area, but I don't think... A screwers going to... I better call a glazier. In case you don't know, a glazier is somebody who fixes glass. English 101. I want to go through the door. Okay. How do I open that screw? With a rag. This is pretty depressing. Alright, Indy. I believe in you. Go, Indy. Go. Quick. Quick pause here for a second. All right, Mr. Indy. All right, Mr. Indy. Keep this going. Back up the stairs. It's easy to get stuck and get super frustrated with these uh, games. Use school desk. <coughs> it's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. Uh, pick up, screw. Use rag on shelf. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. This is not helping me at all. Now. There is gum here. Can I pick up the gum? Pick up gum. It sure is gooey. Great, I've got gum. All right, can we use the gum in a sticky shoot? Use gum with coal shoot. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. Okay. So you know, the gum works. Wow. Go, Indy. Okay. Seems to be locked. Pile of books. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Everything in this game is a struggle. That doesn't make very much sense. You just gotta random click on stuff. Cat figurine. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Look at. Statue. I believe it's part of the old ward collection. Pick up cat figurine. Much too heavy to carry. Can I pick up this one? It's made out of wax. Okay. Um. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection.
Hmm. Take a look at these drawers. What else we got? They're drawers. Can I open them? They're drawers. Seems to be locked. I don't see anything special about it. I don't see anything special about it. Seems to be locked. This is just not helping me. Seems to be locked. Seems to be locked. Truly, a struggle. Is there anything inside of that thing? Look at drawers. They're drawers. Pick up. This is not working. Can I pick up I any of these books? Part of the, I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Okay. Uh... Use cat on furnace. This isn't working. Use cat with furnace. This isn't working. Cat is not melting. Okay. A cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. Okay. Now, what do I do with this, though? This is where these games get finicky. Open. Open furnace. This isn't working. Open furnace. Use cat with furnace. Well, it melted. Okay. So I melted a cat. Okay. And pick up furnace. It melted in what? Oh my god, this is confusing. So why did I melt the cat? Hmm. I am very confused here. Why did I melt the cat? None of this makes any sense. Okay, can I climb up this rope? A fine example of braided hemp. Oh, cool. I can climb up. All right, cool. And for those who are wondering, there is a walkthrough for this game. You can just use it as a story. Some shelves. Okay. Use big crate. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Push big crate. Push big crate. Okay, push big crate. And what else we got here? Dusty old chest. What's inside? It's locked. Hmm. A totem pole shelves. Look at shelves. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Totem pole. Marcus thought potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Okay. Oh, what's that? An arrowhead. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Looks like textiles from the. Sh it's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. All right, pick up Arrowhead. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. All right, come on, Indy. You can do this. Pick up... Where's that arrow thing? There it is. So easy to miss, to miss the little thing like that. All right. 
Can I use this big crate for anything? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Use arrowhead on dusty old chest. Well, that didn't do anything. Too bad there isn't a smash button. I would love to have a slightly higher animation rate. No way. The Anthem of USSR hit 100 million views. We must play it right now. Activating USSR Anthem. I might just have to use this open jar of mayonnaise on something. There's no lid. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Looks like someone's ashes in here. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Wow, that Soviet anthem has completely broken my brain. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I can't lift the lid. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Well, I am up here. I just don't know what to do with it. It's a medieval gargoyle, or good imitation. Looks like this capitalist museum has nothing good in it. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Whew. My brain has completely crashed with the... Uh... Some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Ah. Uh -huh. Looks like someone's ashes in here. It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Okay. Pick up ashes. Feels like there's something loose in here. That's A what key? I thought. Dunlop collection. Use key on dusty old chest. There's a manuscript inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. Sweet. Look at... Nineteen twenty-two. What's interesting is these things are actually written in the style of uh, dialogues of Plato. Lesser and the greater. If the hot sunlight bathed the tall horns, but the greater colony, the moonstone was also needed with the noon sun riding above the full moon to approach itself a world stone with darkness over ruling over the old city without a challenge. 
Final entrance is only yielded to contrary minds. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. Dialogues of Plato. It is way too powerful, Zero. My brain is just like on pause right now. I'm almost willing to stop Indiana Jonesing and continue it at a later date, which is probably something I will do and take a break at this point. Oof. Based on all the progress I made. Let's do that. Mr. Jones, we're going to save and we're going to quit. For today and that is the first part of indiana jones and the fate of atlantis plus a cameo from soviet union got plato book and okay and we're gonna save it and quit and done and that was definitely too powerful on that note i'm gonna spin this adventure down and I'll catch you zero on discord. Thank you.